Hey guys, Tony, good morning. I also did want to expand a little bit on the, on, on the S&P 500 and, and TLT, which is uh, the 20 year bonds. Um, and I actually made a video, I think Sunday about SPY, and then uh, me saying that I thought that it was basically gonna drop to 454. Uh, if we did have, you know, clear, um, you know, a, a clear closing gap, right? So I think what I, I think, I, I forgot the video, but I basically said, we're, I think we're, we were down here and I'm like, you know what? I think what's going to happen is we're going to go, we're going to come up here, close this gap and then drop all the way down to 454. We actually broke that and we actually dropped all the way down to 450, which makes me, you know, inclined to think that you're either going to, you know, bounce from possibly an MA or you're going to go down all the way to $440. Um, you know, there's there's a possibility that we I I as of right now my price target is four forty four within you know by the end of December I think, um, but it does look like you know you're you're getting ready to to drop a lot more, on 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 the daily, um, and I think you know drop us dropping to four forty is definitely not out of the picture. I mean you do have micro gaps here like one right we four forty seven to, four forty eight twenty five like there's a lot of micro gaps right a lot of micro gaps right here that still have to be filled but there's a lot there's a big gap still here that has to get filled back at 400 like a 402 dollars so you know anything goes um i think personally we are going to be dropping all the way back down to 440 bucks which is the next big major support zone i mean you already create you already create you already closed a bullish candle over 454 um you know if you if you do end up bouncing and rebounding to the high side great if you actually close the candle down here like right here here i'll show you guys so if you close a bear candle right like this then i think there's a there's like a 99 percent chance we're going to 440 but if you actually re recover and you and you close the candle back up here above previous resistance of 454 then there's a strong chance that you're probably going to see a push to the upside right as of right now i am inclined to be a little bit more bearish just because of what the chart shows me i think because we already broke this this support right here and, you, and it's a full bear daily candle right um you know i do think that we were more than likely going to go back to retest 440 bucks on the s p 500 especially right here after seeing a consistent drop on you know consistent gradual drop on the reverse macd and you still have more room to go down um you know and, and it's one of those things where you know it's just everything is just bearish man everything is bearish the weekly is bearish the daily is bearish the monthly is still bearish right the monthly has been bearish ever since september 1st and you know september 1st low was 428 dollars so i mean I'm not, I'm not saying there's a chance that we go all the way back to 428 but there might be a chance that you go back to all the way all the way down to like 428, 425-ish, right? We did hit peak low at like 427-ish, um, you know, a little bit above um, recent support of 425 or major support of 425. So as of right now, I am definitely, definitely bearish on the S&P 500. And also to add to that, TLT, which is a 20-year bond, actually closed above 152, right? Why is that so important? Um, that's that's in, that's basically closing above relative highs of you know November 9th let me see September 22nd and now if you close above July 20th highs of 152.71 then you're basically it's it's going to be a pretty good shot to the upside because you ended up closing at what you close at 152.34 close here was 150 then yeah I think TLT is more than likely going to keep running to the high side. And, you know, there's a, there's a strong chance, like I said, if, if, if TLT it keeps closing like this, there's a really strong chance you're going to see it back at 170, 171, which is a little concerning because if you actually see TLT that high, you have, you have, so you have major, major resistance or you're going to have major resistance here at what? So let me see if I can go a little bit further. 153.22. Right, and we closed yesterday at one fifty two thirty four. So you have to close another maybe dollar or two above this to actually to really see some damage. Because if you actually end up closing above this, I, I think the next stop is gonna be possibly like one sixty, and then it's gonna be one seventy. Um, you know, there's really no way around it. I think. Um, I, I think after closing right now that we close one fifty two, uh, I think that's the end of phase one. I think that's what needed to happen for TLT. Um, and the fact that we actually did close above that and we actually closed above relative highs of everything 
back up until July 20th. That that's kind of it's very concerning the fact that we actually closed. So I'm still inclined to think that you know the spy is going to keep dropping, TLT is going to keep running up, and if we do close above like a hundred like 153 dollars on TLT, I think there's a really 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 strong chance that we're going to see it. we're going to see 160 bucks on TLT very soon, and possibly 170. And if that happens. There's a very strong chance that SPY will keep dropping to like 425 or 428. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.